Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central. I'm your host, Jack, and today we're taking a look at men roasting toxic female gym TikTokers. But let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Do you need something? Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. Okay, I'm going I don't own the gym, I, I work here. Okay. Yes. And, and if you're getting what? rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can go to the police and have you trespassed mm -hmm. right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let, let them know. Here. That's what we'll do. So right now, I'm just take the stuff and hit up front. Right. Cut the cameras. Love to see the employees stepping up and getting rid of these toxic gym TikTokers. Fantastic. <laughs> You know, I truly don't understand this entitlement when filming at gyms, but this nonsense needs to end. Imagine setting your camera up in a busy walkway in front of some lockers and the locker rooms and then getting upset when people walk through your video? Really? And the look you give that man at the end, as if he and everybody else should stop what they're doing just because you're filming. I'm sorry, you don't own the gym. It's not his job or anybody's job to care about you filming. They pay the same gym membership fees that you pay. But hey, if you want to film somewhere where nobody's going to walk through your video and you can do as you please, build a home gym. Train there. It's videos like this and people like you that are the reason that everyone wants filming banned in gyms. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Again, nobody is going to just stop their entire workout just so you can film yourself. I swear, there's no common sense in these people. Bob, she's trying to flirt with you, but you have a wifey. Yeah, it doesn't go exactly like this, but man, I swear, when I go to the gym, it's insane what some girls will do for attention. The Thacus Victimus, better known as the Toxic Gym Girl, a hugest Jackmanius, minding his own business, completely unaware of the danger he's in. A single glance is all it can take for the Thacus Victimus to spring into action. And there it is. The toxic gym girl accuses the male of staring at her buttons. She calls him a creep during this most unusual of spectacles. For attention is the main source of nourishment for these nasty creatures. Flustered and confused, the male retreats. She edits her video and readies herself to post. The commentary is on point. This is too funny not to laugh at. She really posted this TikTok being like, look at the guy's reaction at the end, just for him to look up from his phone when she dropped the weight. Not everyone is looking at you, lady. 9 p.m., she calls me and she's like, Tony, you never hang out with me. And I'm like, well, I hang out with you most weekends, but maybe it's because you're at the gym every single day for like three hours. And she's like, well, you can just go to the gym with me. And I'm like... I do go to the gym with you. We go to the same gym. It's just that when we're at the gym, you never acknowledge that I exist. You just always do your own thing. And she's like, well, if you were so many people's gym crush, you would do the same thing. How would you feel if your gym crush was dating somebody and you found out? You would feel shit, right? That's why I ignore you. She was pretty Persian and fit. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to let that slide. Whatever. But then a week later, she comes up to me uh, right before she was about to go to the gym. And she goes like, Tony, I ran out of pre-workout. And I'm like, okay, so go buy yourself some pre-workout then. And she's like, no, 
I want you to buy me some pre-workout. And I'm like, no, I won't. You're a gross woman. You can go to GNC and buy yourself some pre-workout or get it from Amazon. And she's like, if you don't get me pre-workout right now, no for a week. So I'm like, okay, what flavor pre-workout do you want? And she looks at me. Her eyes are literally sticking out like this. Tears coming out from the bottom. And she's like, you don't know my favorite pre-workout flavor? <laughs> How long have you been cheating on me? Show me your phone. Show me all of your f***ing. And then suddenly, she starts throwing hands at me like this. Da, 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 da. Do not put up with these games, men. It seems her entire goal was to get rid of him without having to do it herself. I can't imagine how bad this must feel. If she's gonna complain about this, then maybe she needs to find herself a private gym. Ban filming in public gyms and let's learn as a species to stop being so damn entitled. It's a joke that too many people are able to relate to in a very serious way. Women who do this are just beyond repair. Oh no, this is... This is facts, dog. Facts. Man, but hold on, let me tell y'all about this uh, one specific time, bro. So I'm at the gym not too long ago. Chick, she uh she ain't not working out. So I'm I'm doing my decline push-ups and whatnot. So I walk away for a second. I wasn't even gone long. She 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 over there on the turf and she uh she started using it. So I'm like, I did what it is. So I was damn near just about done. I was like, I could do one more set on it. And she like, yeah, she like oh, you using it? I was like, it's, it's all good, I'm finished. So I go over to, uh, I want to say the chest press machine. Yeah, I go over to the chest press machine, and I ain't think nothing of it at this point, cause I'm like, bro, I'm locked in. I don't, I don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I go over to the chest machine. She go over to the, uh, you know, the squat rack. You know, and it's like right on side. So I'm just like, I'm doing my press. I'm just like, but I ain't think nothing of it. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe she's just, you know, doing her thing. So she walked back over to the turf, and now she's aligned with my eyesight, but she's from a fall, and um. I'm pressing, so I'm, I'm not. I'm still not thinking nothing of it. So she started doing what I thought was some RDLs, but when I tell you she was bent over, she, it, it, these weren't the RDLs. These were some all, all RDLs. Like she was bent over, like it. She could have padded that thing. Like that's how far, she. You get what I'm saying? So I'm pressing. At this point, I'm like, oh yeah. I say this woman is in heat. And at this point, at this time, I was on semen retention, so I'm like. Oh no, I said, I'm good. So look, I say that ain't nobody but the damn devil. I say I'm good on it. I'm good on it. But look, fellas, y'all gotta know when the signs are there. Y'all gotta know when to just, you know what I'm saying? Take a step back. Cause man, they'll snatch you and they'll grab you. Cause man, if if I wasn't a man of Christ, man, I would have Nah, let me let me stop. But <laughs> y'all get it. Again, another girl who is purposefully trying to get a man to stare, but it just didn't work out because my man is strong. Be like him, stay strong. Well, here's another one who focused way too much on those around her and forgot the reason she's there, to work on herself. Encountered a gym creeper today. Obviously, this guy's not dressed for a good workout. And he just kept wandering from machine to machine, staring at girls while they were working out. And I literally stood next to him for so long, and he didn't even notice me. This is so annoying. We come to work out not to be leered at. And yes, I did record, uh, report him to the front desk and show. Okay, so there's three comments I want to make regarding this f***ard, the lady who made this recording. First point is, this gentleman may be new to the gym, hence he's not wearing the right gear. Hence he may not know what he's doing, and he's looking around for inspiration to see what other people are doing, how they're doing things, so he can learn. Second point is, the gentleman may actually be taking a breather in between his sets, and as he's doing so, he's looking around. Is that a time? Don't think so. And the third is the most ironic. You complain about him being the creep. You complain because you followed him around. You've recorded him. You've reported him to the front desk. But he's the creep. 
the f Tony is here, the thing that you are accusing him of is the same f thing that you have just done. Gents, if you're in the gym and you see someone who looks a little bit out of place, go and talk to them. Ask them if they need any advice. Ask them if they need any help. But don't just f just don't make these f assumptions. Preach! Preach to the high heavens, brother. We do not need more toxicity in the gym. Not to mention that she said herself that he didn't even notice her. It's called the workout pump. Hate to break it to you, but this happens to everyone at the gym. To be 285 pounds, and I've lost over 100 pounds naturally. So we're doing a seven day liquid fast. Sounds like an eating disorder. And this is what you're gonna do. So it's just like it sounds. It's seven days only liquids. So the Don't tempt me with a good time. Teeth are overrated anyway. Who needs salad foods? The first thing that you can have is protein shakes. You can have no more than six protein shakes within a day. And six protein shakes? James barely lets me in the house as it is. I'd be farting up the place in a second. Then you can have broth. Um, I typically do a couple of spine. Broth is pretty much zero carbs, zero sugars. You can do bone broth, beef broth, chicken broth, whatever type of broth. The broth again. I'm sorry, but chicken is not the answer to all your problems. Yes, I know it's not actual you fuck horde warriors. But I'm gonna make sure I got my apple cider vinegar shot in. Thank God. Otherwise, all this would have been for nothing. The apple cider vinegar shot helps to regulate your blood sugar. It helps with your digestion. It also helps with a fatty liver. I don't want to sound like a but I can read Google too. This man is absolutely hilarious. Let's not encourage people to have eating disorders and instead encourage healthy diets that can actually last the test of time. She isn't wrong. A man loves a girl who is herself and confident in what she does. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this dude just simply walked by and she called him a creep. What did he even do wrong? Hot take, but if you wear something like this to the gym, I immediately think you're a tool. It's something about them, especially if it's all matching is so bad. You know, this is something I see a lot of on social media these days. These videos of, if you wear this, it means you're that trying to belittle or judge people because of what they wear. How would you feel if somebody made a video like this about you or something that you wore? And as a person that posts video after video of, get ready with me, check out my gym outfit that are always matching and sometimes all black, you would think you would know better. And by the way, I think you look great. I think you should be able to wear whatever you want to the gym, but you need to do better. Mind your own business. Why does it even matter what other people are wearing at the gym if it doesn't affect you in a single way? Again, focus on yourself. I don't get it. Why is she proud of this? Go work out and use that gym membership which you are paying for. Today on my For You page, I saw some guy talking about feral gym girlies and how they're so inspiring but so frightening at the same time. And holy sh**. Never true. Like, I am most definitely so proudly a feral gym girly. I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning to go to the gym. I was chugging my pre-workout, hitting every curb on the drive to the gym. Music is blasted, max volume. And I walk into the gym like I own the place. I'm sweating after my warm-up, and I'm loading up every single plate you can find at the gym onto the hack squat. And I'm like, for people who go to the gym just for their health and, you know, to stay fit, that must be kind of terrifying to see. Like, like what is this thing there? Me, I'm the best. Not literally, but you know. And then we're taking every set till failure, screaming on our last rep, and I'm like, that is quite terrifying. But we're still gonna do it all again tomorrow. I have never seen a more obnoxious TikTok. Knowing that you are bothering other people and being proud of it, what does this world come to? Back again with another gym girly who just thinks it's all about her and doesn't realize that nobody else cares about her workout. Oh, uh, no, she's right, guys, all right, someone help her, man. Oh, wait, she's filming. 
Um, I'm not a gym freak. I'm not a gym freak either. She I need food. Hey, she needs I'm help. Hungry. She needs, I'm she needs, hungry. Um, okay. I'm married. Someone help. Um, Let's, I'm, I'm married. Yeah. Let's go. I'm married. Yeah. Men wanting to help women out? Nope, that's some creep-like actions. Maybe we should stop demonizing each other and realize that we're all humans. Watch this guy try move to me at the gym. So this lady is calling out this gentleman for hitting on her at the gym from this simple interaction. I don't think this guy had any care about how she looked. In fact, I think he was just trying to be nice and checking if she was using the machine. And she labeled him as a creep. So record yourself squatting from behind and post it online. That is the most obvious solution here. I mean, you really can't blame him. Based on all the exposing videos, you never know who could be recording. And I go to the bench because it was supposed to be my chest day. After a little while, I noticed that my gym crush actually takes the bench right next to mine. And also starts warming up with dumbbells because supposedly it was also her chest day too. And in my head I'm thinking, wow, the stars have really aligned. I'm definitely going to talk to her in a little bit, right? So after like two or three sets, she was actually the one that came up to me and she was like, hey, could you please spot me? And I'm like, of course, sure. So I introduced myself, like, my name is Tony. She's like, my name is Jessica. We make small talk. I ask her, like, would you like to be spotted on the elbow or on the wrist? She's like, on the elbow, please. So I'm spotting her and I'm counting her reps in my head. One, two, three, and on about four... I smell the gnarliest thing I've ever smelled in my whole life. It was like a skunk who had a diarrhea. It was so horrible, oxygen stopped going into my brain. I started suffocating, choking, coughing like... <laughs> she dropped her dumbbells, got up and started looking me straight in the eye. After about 15 seconds, after I regained consciousness, I looked around us, but there's nobody around us. I know for a fact it was her that did it. She still looked me straight in the eye, and the only thing she told me was, maybe you should get your stomach checked. This chick gaslighted me into believing that it was I who ripped out when it was clearly, clearly her that did it. You know, she may just be hitting her protein goals, but she really put the gas in gaslighting. Bro was just trying to save himself from ending up on the news. Men are weak. They skip leg day because they can't handle the pain. We carry a human for nine months. We get cramps every single month, so we still manage to train legs two to three times a week. Be a man. Train like a woman. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since we don't train legs constantly, we're obviously weaker. Why do we even take biology classes? Clearly, no one is listening. She has over half a million followers spouting this toxic information to her followers, and they just keep eating it up. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel and the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.